Don't touch me. Hey, let's go. What are you watching? I'm just watching a music video of my favorite song. Really? Let's watch together. Fine. Let's watch it from the beginning. This is so sexual. I can't believe it isn't rated R. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of sexual objectification other examples in these videos. Let me tell you more about what sexual objectification is. Okay, you know, teach me. First, let's watch this. Okay. Sexual objectification, what is it? According to Caroline Heldman, it's the process of representing or treating a person like a sex object, one that serves another sexual pleasure. Today, we'll discuss three main points on sexual objectification and stereotypes on women in K-pop music videos and their effects. We will discuss, one, the portrayal of women and their representation as sex objects, two, the appearance of women as weak and easy to manipulate, and three, the unrealistic expectations of the appearance of women. It's hard to concentrate on a person's words when you can't really see their face, don't you think? A lot of K-pop music videos seem to do this with a woman's body. They fail to capture the essential character of a person, the unique characteristics that make us all individual, and instead only use the body parts of a person. Let's take a look at Eddie Kim's music video for his song, Darling, released in 2014. This music video clearly exemplifies the sexual objectification of women. I have to admit, the song is quite catchy. Who doesn't love acoustic music? But wait till you get to the later scenes. When you present a body part other than a face, it's hard to give human characteristics or personality to a person. For example, in this video, we are given a female actress without a face. We are thus focusing on her body more than anything else. The audience's attention is drawn to her actions rather than her character. Her actions only seem to be associated with the singer, or the main focus of the music video. In other words, the actress only serves to make the male counterpart look good, a mere decoration for the main character. Rather than showing equal mutual interaction between the male and female character, the female actress is acting more as a prop for the music video. However, this music video does much more. When I first saw this, I laughed and I gasped at the same time. Despite the nice visuals with the vintage look of the overall music video, we cannot fail to recognize the appalling juxtaposition of the visuals with the woman's body. Blatantly placing a woman's body with everyday objects sends the message to the audience that a, that a woman's body is also an object. As Caroline Heldman mentioned, portraying women as a commodity, something that can be bought or sold, is just one of the few ways sexual objectification presents itself in. All in all, by showing merely the body and no other interaction involving the female characters and portraying women as mere objects, K-pop music videos make the female body appear as a sexual object only for the purpose of being pretty and feminine and not as a human being. Moving on to our second point, a lot of K-pop music videos make women look weak and easy to manipulate. The first music video we are going to look at is from a song called Lionheart by a famous girl group, Girls Generation, also known as SNSD. This music video portrays nine members as women who are easy to manipulate. They are easily manipulated by a single man wearing a lion mask. Let's take a look at some of the examples from the music video. All these scenes show different members falling in love with one single man as soon as he walks in. This is commonly known as love at first sight, but in this case, this portrays stereotypes and women. And in this music video, love at first sight only happens to women, which makes women seem easier to manipulate. All the members fall in love with him as they get help from this lion. Here's one of the examples from the same music video. In this scene, one of the members show weakness and inability to be independent when her car breaks down. And of course, the man with the lion mask comes and help because he obviously somehow knows how to fix a car. She is attracted to the man as he fixes her car. The appearance of women as dependent figures, damsels in distress. The media is portraying that women should be waiting to be rescued. 
unable to help themselves. This obviously an incorrect message being sent to women for we should be teaching audiences to stand up for themselves and learn to be independent. Let's look at another example where women is being controlled and portrayed as wild animals. The singer starts off with controlling her back dancers with chokers and leashes on their necks, which resemble dog collars. These back dancers are also wearing masks, which suggests that women are all the same and their appearance, differences, uniqueness doesn't matter. But wait, this is only the beginning of the music video. Let's take a look at the end of the music video. <laughs> The singer swings a whip while standing next to the back dancers. This is not only disturbing because human beings are put into leashes and portrayed as pets, but the fact that this group of people are only composed of women makes it portray sexual objectification of women. This portrayal of sexual objectification as animals, something that needs to be controlled through a leash, exemplifies women as objects. Things serve for the sake of pleasure. Once again, according to Caroline Haldeman, this image violates the bodily integrity of sexualized person. The woman is being acted upon as a sexual object. Watching those music videos, what thoughts would come into our minds first? Especially for girls, we first go, <gasps> but eventually compare their bodies to our own bodies. By portraying women as unusually skinny and sexy, K-pop music videos are giving unrealistic expectation of girls. These girls are portrayed as idealized figures with nice bodies and tight clothing. Look around us. No one usually dresses this suggestively on an everyday basis. This is Up and Down by EXID. This song was a great hit for a month in Korea, and I've been a big fan of th this catchy song as well. However, as shown in this clip, girls, girls are extremely skinny. None of them have a realistic body shape. Look, the camera intentionally spotlights the woman's body. There are many scenes where only specific body parts are shown. Moreover, the upper body and lower body gets separated and gets replaced with objects, which is only focusing on the shape of the body. It implies that body parts are interchangeable, which ignores identity of an individual. Another example is A by Rainbow. It is part of their choreography to roll their t-shirts off and show off their bellies. As shown in this clip, the camera intentionally closes up specific body parts. This implies that women are likely to have sexy bodies and they are willing to show off and reveal their bodies. When people get constantly exposed to those unrealistic portrayal of women's bodies, the standard of a beautiful body changes, which pressures women to be in the shape. Especially, teenage girls are extremely affected by the media, and they often get eating disorder. <gasps> I can't believe that I always have been exposed to those um, sexually objectifying images. I know, right? Most music videos we watch over and over again have much more stereotypes than we expect. It became so common that I didn't even realize. From now on, let's at least be aware of the fact that the media portrays women as sex objects easy to manipulate and also portray uh, unrealistic expectations of body shapes. Mm -hmm.